In the early 20th century, the world was a vastly different place. Nations were vying for power, colonialism was in full swing, and the Middle East was a chessboard for the world powers. The British government, a significant player in the global arena, had its gaze fixed on Palestine. The year was 1917, and a document known as the Balfour Declaration was issued. Arthur James Balfour, the British Foreign Secretary at the time, pledged support for a Jewish national home in Palestine. What was notably absent from this pledge was any regard for the rights of the Palestinians living there. This declaration wasn't an isolated incident, it was part of a broader network of colonial agreements, like the infamous Sykes-Picot Agreement. These were designed to divide Arab territories, often with little to no consideration for the people inhabiting them. The repercussions of these actions by the British government have echoed through the decades. Fast forward to the present day, and the situation in Palestine remains fraught with tension. The British government's current policies, particularly its relationship with Israel, continue to contribute to the turmoil. The echoes of the past reverberate strongly, serving as a haunting reminder of the long-lasting impact of colonial meddling. Yet amidst all this, there remains a glaring absence, an honest admission from the British government about the role it has played. The stage is set for such an admission. It's high time for the British government to look into the mirror of history and acknowledge its reflection. The impact of the British government's presence in Palestine is far from being a mere chapter in a history book. It's a chilling, harsh reality that has been imprinted in blood on the hearts of the people of Palestine. It's a saga of conflict and distress, of power struggles that resulted in political manoeuvrings and violent repercussions. To bring this horrifying tale to an end, it's vital for the British government to step forward and acknowledge its historical role in the blood-stained history of Palestine. This isn't just about accepting a brutal past, it's about understanding the terrifying implications of these actions on the present and the future, a trail of devastation that haunts to this day. Only through such a harrowing acknowledgement can there be a path towards understanding, healing and ultimately peace. The ball is soaked in blood. It's in their court. Will they take it and wipe it clean? Only time will reveal.